Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy and the latest stock news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. Recently, the stock market has brought in another record high, with the S&P 500 closing on Friday at its highest level ever recorded. This particular index actually posted gains 16 out of the 18 weeks for the first time since 1971. So investors have been on a huge winning streak lately, which is great news. On top of that, we also have one particular company named Supermicro, which has jumped by around 217.21% since the beginning of the year. But that's not all, because if we zoom out two years, the company actually jumped over 20 times their original price over the last two years, and now they're trading at around $905.48. We even did a deep dive on this particular stock a few weeks ago, so feel free to go and check out that video. For context, this company is an artificial intelligence server maker, and the reason for the recent enthusiasm is because this company is going to join the S&P 500 index, which is great news. Both Supermicro and Decker's Outdoor Corporation will join the S&P 500 on Monday, March 18th, and they are going to replace Whirlpool Corporation and Zion Bancorp. Now, investors need to be very careful in regards to this company, because eventually, this company will have a pullback in their share share price, but in the meantime, feel free to trade off of this momentum and the volatility in the share price. Another reason why investors are flooding into this company right now is because not only did Supermicro recently bring in a very impressive earnings report, but they also forecasted higher than anticipated revenues than what Wall Street has forecasted, which again is great news for investors. So feel free to keep this company on a watch list. Next up, let's talk about some cryptocurrency news in regards to Bitcoin. Investors have been buying BTC hand over fist and that's why Bitcoin has blasted past $63,000 per Bitcoin, reaching a more than two-year high. In my personal opinion, there are two big catalysts which are pushing Bitcoin higher in its price. The first catalyst, of course, was that the SEC approved several spot Bitcoin ETFs. And ever since that happened back in January, we have seen a record number of inflows in regards to money of around $612 million in BlackRock's spot BTC. BTC ETF, and that's just BlackRock's, so that's not even incorporating all of the other spot Bitcoin ETFs. So these ETFs are going to help push Bitcoin's price higher and higher, which is great news for cryptocurrency investors who have invested or are investing into BTC. But we also have the Bitcoin halving it coming up, to where the number of coins that miners, like Riot Platforms and Marathon Digital, get for mining a block will literally be cut in half. Honestly, Bitcoin halving is good because it makes it harder to mine bitcoins, which makes it more rare, which increases scarcity, which should increase their overall price. Therefore, this is acting as another positive news catalyst for Bitcoin, and therefore the price could go even higher in the short term. But please be careful, because cryptocurrencies are extremely volatile, even more so than stocks. So please be aware for intense and dramatic price fluctuations in cryptocurrencies, and specifically Bitcoin. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about this story down below. Next up, we have a plug power stock surging by 17%. So we're going to be talking about whether or not this company is a buying opportunity and what caused them to surge by 17% in their share price. So let's get into it. Plug Power, ticker symbol PLUG, ticker name Plug, has been on a roller coaster lately. For context, this is a hydrogen fuel cell company, and I personally really like hydrogen companies, except Plug Power is one of the ones that are extremely volatile. So it's a super high risk investment here. However, despite this, some believe that Plug Power stock literally could rise in value by 1,000% or more. So let's talk about why they believe that and whether or not this is actually realistic. This company aims to replace fossil fuels with hydrogen fuel cells, but ever since the dot-com bubble, this company really has never truly recovered in their share price. But now let's fast forward to 2020, everything changed, to where the price of this company soared by nearly 2,000 
thousand percent, reaching a market cap of around $35 billion, as you can see on screen right here. But just like what we saw back in the dot-com bubble, the company originally surged in their share price and then has started a huge downtrend to where now they are trading at a market cap of just $3.5 billion instead of $35 billion. Now, I do want to point out that from a fundamental standpoint, many items on Plug's income statement have actually improved quite dramatically even though the share price has been ticking lower. According to the article, Plug's primary mission today is to create a vertically integrated clean energy hub focused on hydrogen fuel cells. It seeks to not only produce hydrogen fuel, but also to transport, store, and deliver the fuel to customers. And honestly, this is a pretty good business model as long as the company can survive long enough to make this business model actually lucrative. As of right now, Plug arguably has already achieved part of their long-term vision. As an example, they have nearly 1 million square feet of manufacturing capacity, and they also have five hydrogen production facilities which are under construction, with plans to build five more. We also have their management, which believes that hydrogen fuel will rapidly grow over the next few years, to where their revenue targets believe that the company will bring in six billion dollars by 2027 and at 20 billion dollars by 2030. The main reason for this large increase in revenue will be due to the economy transitioning from fossil fuels over to hydrogen fuel cells. And on paper, this seems great, however, there are a few problems that I would like to point out in case you want to invest into this company. So here are some major points that you need to be aware of, because yes, technically, this company's share price could jump by 1000%, but also this company is extremely risky, and here are the risks. First, right off the bat, the company is betting on a large change in the status quo away from fossil fuels and towards hydrogen fuel cells. However, currently we don't know if that will actually happen, and right now, hydrogen fuel remains a very small source of power in the macroeconomic economy. Also, to achieve this growth that Plug Power wants, they will likely need to invest billions of additional dollars into new infrastructure. As for management's projections, yes, technically this company could be bringing in $30 billion worth of revenue by 2030. However, like we just talked about, if they can't financially support themselves until then, or if they miscalculated the transition from fossil fuels over to hydrogen fuel cells, then this will be catastrophic for this company. And this will bring us to our second major point. So let's pretend that this company actually gets what they need, like we talked about previously. Let's say they obtain the financing that they need, and the macroeconomic economy is shifting away from fossil fuels and towards hydrogen fuel cells. But even this would not guarantee the future of Plug Power, and here's why. First, we need to remember that there is a major competition over in this space, in which I personally am investing into other hydrogen fuel cell companies. And on top of that, we need to remember that there is only around 1,600 miles of hydrogen pipelines. But on the other hand, there is around 2.6 million miles of fossil fuel pipelines. So infrastructure still needs to be built out in the macroeconomic economy for Plug Power to even receive their revenues. At the end of the day, yes, this company has a huge potential upside, but for me, I would just hold this company on a watch list and trade off of the volatility. Ultimately, we don't know the fate of this company, and they are extremely risky, which is why I always recommend that you do your own research before investing into any of the companies mentioned in these videos or anywhere else on YouTube. Next up, let's talk about Fubo TV, which was recently upgraded to a buy rating, which is very impressive. If you did didn't know, Fubo TV is a sports streaming platform, and they were recently upgraded to a buy rating from their original neutral rating by Seaport Global. The reason why this is such great news is because recently Fubo TV brought in mildly disappointing guidance on their recent earnings report. According to the article, Seaport thinks that the risk to reward ratio in Fubo shares is attractive from here suited to investors who can focus on small caps and who can be nimble in their trading. As of right now, Fubo TV, ticker symbol F-U-B-O, ticker name Fubo, is trading at around $1.90 per share, while this price target goes as high as $2.50. So yes, there is upside potential here. But you should also be aware of the pros and cons surrounding this company, starting off with the pros. Fubo TV expects 380,000 to 385,000 new subscribers 
subscribers for the first quarter in 2024, which is good news. But despite this, their year-over-year -year revenue is anticipated to decline by around 2%, and that's the bad news. However, we also have mixed news. For context, Walt Disney Corporation, Fox Corporation, and Warner Bros. Discovery are all trying to attempt a joint venture to dominate the sports streaming industry. However, Fubo TV is suing, and they are trying to block this joint venture because they believe that this will cause a monopoly over this industry. Therefore, this would be unfair business practices, and thus this joint venture should not go through. And if this joint venture is blocked, this will be very good news for Fubo TV. So please keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, I would say Fubo TV has a hold rating. Next up, let's talk about an artificial intelligence company that I personally really like, which is Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. As of right now, Palantir trades at around $23.63 per share, and in my opinion, their accounting ratios are trading at premiums. But I do believe that this company will be able to grow into their valuation in the future, but as of right now, I have a hold rating on this company. But let's get into why this company is so valuable and why I think investors need to be paying attention to this company. To start off, we've been reporting on this company for over the last two years, and we have received a load of value from them. As an example, Palantir shares have soared more than 200% over the past year, and I have rode the wave on this company since then. You should also know that Palantir is entering into a new growth era, which could drive the stock price even higher. So let's talk about how high this company could actually go, and whether or not these price targets are realistic or not. For some background information, Palantir essentially helps their government and commercial clients make better use of their data, which they already generate, and this thus saves the company time and money. In a nutshell, Palantir allows companies to reduce expenses and increase their operational efficiencies. But apart from that, the main reason why Palantir broke above a $20 share price was due to their artificial intelligence prowess in regards to their AIP platform, which launched last year. Palantir has actually launched AIP boot camps, which trains and teaches these clients on how to use AIP properly. And with these boot camp trainings, it allows Palantir's clients to solve particular problems within their business using the AIP system. You should also know that the company's government revenues continuously increase, while their commercial revenue is climbing even faster. On top of that, you should be aware that this company is profitable ever since last year, which we predicted many years before they even became profitable. And as of right now, they predict that their adjusted free cash flow will be at least $800 million this year. And on top of that, Palantir is anticipating that the revenues will be around $2.6 billion for the full year. Again, these are great pieces of evidence on how Palantir will continuously increase in their share price as time goes on. But please be aware of a pullback. Palantir has already surged 200%, and literally it's only a matter of time before this company's share price starts to cool off. And when it does, that's when I'm going to increase this company from a hold rating to a buy rating, and that's when I'm going to accumulate more shares. But as of right now, I see no reason to buy this company when they are trading very high in their share price above $20 per share. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about C Limited, which recently jumped in their share price. The reason for the recent enthusiasm in their share price is because they posted better than expected sales in their earnings report. Analysts predicted that this company would bring in a 20 cent loss per share. However, the company actually only brought in a loss of 19 cents per share, which is positive news. But the news gets even better. When we look over at the revenue, analysts forecasted that the company would bring in $3.57 billion. However, they actually brought in sales of $3.62 billion, thus beating analysts' estimates. This company has their hands in digital entertainment, e-commerce, and digital payments, as well as financial services. So they have a lot of revenue segments, which makes this company very fundamentally strong, in my opinion. However, you should be aware that this company is decreasing in their share price due to less than impressive previous earnings reports. But since then, the company said that they would ramp up their investments to better compete in the e-commerce space. And with the addition of this company bringing in a pretty good earnings report, this could cause a rebound in their share price. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about Viking Therapeutics, to where one Wall Street analyst believes that this company will surge in their share price. For context, Viking Therapeutics, ticker symbol VKTX, has already jumped by 555% over the last three months. But one analyst 
analyst believes that this company could go even higher. According to an Oppenheimer analyst named Jay Olson, he has an adjusted price target of $116 for this company. He literally increased his price target from $46 up to $116, which is adding a lot of momentum behind this company. This would roughly imply around 36% further upside in this company, considering that their share price right now is trading at around $85 per share. Even now, the company is increasing in their overall share price by around 10%, but this enthusiasm is not fooling me, and I'll tell you why. The reason for all of this enthusiasm is due to Viking publishing their phase 2 obesity therapy data. However, in my opinion, the data is not good enough to justify a $116 price target on this company. Viking Therapeutics will have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against companies like Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly in this particular area. And honestly, there is not really a lot of competition here when we compare Viking Therapeutics against a giant like Eli Lilly, which is why I personally would rather invest my money into Eli Lilly rather than Viking Therapeutics. But feel free to trade off the volatility of this company in the short short term because they are getting pretty positive news updates. Lastly, let's talk about the best stocks that insiders are buying. Literally, let's go over the stocks that smart money is buying right now that I think investors need to be aware of. Starting off with the top buying opportunities right now, according to smart money. As of right now, insiders within these companies are buying more shares of VF Corp, Cardinal Corp, Enphase Energy, Air Products and Chemicals, Insulate and Caesars Entertainment, among a plethora of others. Now, when I say insiders, I'm referring to executives who operate this company internally. So normally, when they buy shares, this is good news and it should reflect positively on the share prices of these companies. But now let's talk about the companies that insiders are selling. Now, before I go over the names, remember that insider selling is not always a bad thing because insiders can sell for a multitude of various reasons. And honestly, I am buying into a lot of these companies. Some insiders Insiders are selling Airbnb, Monolithic Power Systems, Amazon.com, Royal Caribbean Cruises, Palo Alto Networks, Walmart, Salesforce, Charter Communications, and Lowe's, even though it's spelled incorrectly. So with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Tell me what your thoughts are about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.